I'm Ken Anderson with ProFoam. Today I wanted to go over the ST1 spray foam gun from Carlisle. Show you what's in the box, show you what some of the features are. So let's start out. Inside the box was manuals. The manuals contain everything you really need to know about this gun from safety to start up and shut down to troubleshooting to parts. It's all in here. And it comes in two versions, English and Spanish. Okay. Next we have our exploded view parts diagram. So if you need a quick reference for a part number, you can just look on the chart, find your part number, makes it very much, very, very easy to order those parts and get the right thing. So again, one in English, one in Spanish. All right, so what else comes in the box? We have our grease gun for starting or for shutting down at the end of the day, along with a tube of grease. We have the drill bits for cleaning out your mixed chamber, both the front and the side holes. We have a little pin vise for holding those drill bits. 5 16 nut driver, this is going to pretty much do everything you need to do. We have the air hose with the shutoff valve and the quick disconnect for the back of the gun. And of course, we have the gun itself. Now, this gun, the first thing I notice is the ergonomics, how, how friendly it is to hold, it feels very good in your hand. Very short trigger pull, lightweight. Everybody notices the strap right away. The strap helps hold it to your, your hand uh, so you don't have to give a death grip to this gun all day long, reduces the fatigue. It has a flange right on here that sits right on your hand. So another, another thing keeps you from having to really grip this gun. Doesn't take much to hold onto it. Uh, the strap can be used right handed or left handed, either one. Okay. All right, 5 16 nut driver shuts off the, the fluid valves and disconnects the gun from the fluid manu uh, manifold. Just like that. Now, if you're already using a Graco Fusion AP gun or Fusion PC gun, this gun will fit right on the, the fluid manifold for that gun. So you don't have to put this coupling block on to try this gun out. It'll fit right on there. Um, the side seals on this, again 5 16 nut driver, threads them out. I like side seals that thread out as opposed to the ones that pry out. If you get a little bit of isocyanate in there, those ones don't, they don't want to pry out very easy, but you can thread them out every time. Okay. Take that out. One for the other side. Very easy to get them in and out. Okay. Your mix chamber system, it's a two part system. The tip and the mix chamber itself back in the head. 5 16 nut driver takes the tip out. Thread it out. Okay. And take it out. Now, one thing about this, if you've ever broken a drill bit inside a mix chamber, you're, you know that they're very, very difficult to get out if you can get it out at all. On this one, if you break a drill bit in it, the hole is straight through, so you can push that drill bit right through to the back side, put it back in, and you'll be back in business. To take the head off, 5 16 nut driver again, one bolt. Loosen the bolt up. Pull the fluid head off, right there. Here's the rest of our mix chamber. Just held into the uh, piston, the ball and socket. Very easy to get out. Okay. It's a very simple gun. Feels really good. Sprays very, very well. Um, I really think it's worth giving a shot. Try it out. I'm Ken Anderson with ProFoam.